Hey guys, it's time for your SD gaming fix yet again and uh, I was gonna take a look at supercars today but then I thought nah I feel more like a violent platformer or something like that so I decided to have a look at Switchblade 2 published by Gremlin Graphics in 1991 and developed by Core Design and since I couldn't find an ad for this game let's just uh, dive straight in and the original creator of Switchblade 1 Simon Phibbs is not at all involved I think with this sequel as far as I can tell anyway Got some pretty noisy tracker music going here. Uh, maybe not the cleanest of samples, but hey, back in the day I was just impressed by any type of sample music. I didn't care if it sounded like it was recorded in a tin can. <laughs> and I read on the internet that if you type Chrome on the keyboard at the title screen, you're supposed to be able to play uh, like a, a small hidden game the sequel to Venus the Flytrap, but I think that only works in the Amiga version because I couldn't get it to work in the SD version sadly, so uh, we're gonna have to make do with the standard game. And this looks very much like the original Switchblade, although I have to say I prefer the graphics of the first one, even though the sprites are smaller, they just kind of look better. And I have played this for a little bit because I had some problems recording, so I had to restart, but yeah, so I kind of know what's going to happen here. And uh, I still don't know what this is, if this is an alien egg or something, or just decoration. I can't do anything with it, so... Uh, but I can high jump. If I hold down and then press up, I make a high jump, so that is nice. So let's go and say hi to our friend, the uh, grenade-tossing hat over here. He is now no more. Let's go stab this brainy satellite. Uh, and of course, the game's got... Uh, flip scrolling, which I honestly, I hate. <laughs> it's really a pain in the arse. I've never liked it. I would rather just have flip screen, you know, standard. Just flip to the new screen. Don't scroll it in. The enemies just keep, like, ending up in my face. And it is super annoying. And as you can see, I've picked up a projectile weapon of some sort, which is uh, honestly garbage. <laughs> it's really crap. You see, I can like shoot this little annoying flea 50 times before he dies, but with the dagger, I can just stab him once. So the dagger is the better weapon. And yeah, that's actually written in the manual, which I have actually read. So uh, <laughs> shock horror. And we can't jump down here because that fire thing is going to get me. So let's just do this and stab this little fart in the face. And get up here and murder this thing. And I think that refills my... Nope, it didn't. The meter to the right is how much weapon power I have left. And the other meter is my health. What that power-up thing did, I, I have no idea. And you can see I'm making money here as I kill these poor robot insects here. And I think we can find stores where we can buy more high-tech stuff. I hope. Better weapons that are not so absolute trash. Oh, I can't jump up there. That's... Ah, oh, stop it with the flip screen scrolling. It's driving me mental. <laughs> I so hate it. Ah... Uh. Oh god, how am I supposed to see that? You can't look down either, which is flipping annoying. Let's just demonstrate. Get up here, push down. You're not looking down. That is super crap. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. And I have to say the hitboxes in the game aren't great either. They're a little bit trashy as well. Oh. You often get hit when you're not supposed to. And where did that guy go? He just disappeared. Also, check out that dude in the background. <laughs> I love that. That is a really, really, really neat touch. I don't know if it's King Kong's... Oh, for Christ... How am I... Uh, all right, then. Never mind. Don't like that. Let's just make a hole in the wall. And... Uh, oh, carry on. And I don't like how enemies just spawn in your crotch. It is super annoying. Also that... Really? It's not hitting me, you bastard. Oh, for Christ. 
Uh, yeah, enemies will just spawn in your face, and also there's traps that appear out of nowhere that you just kind of, you know, you have to step on them to, to know that they're there. That's, that's not, not great. I hate that. <laughs> so, honestly, I have to say I prefer the first game. It's, it's less cheesy than this one. But, I mean, it's not bad. By any stretch, it's, uh, it looks nice. It plays all right, apart from the flip screen scrolling. These things, I remember them from the first game. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're just lights. Come to think of it, they're just here to spread their their brilliant illumination here. Can you just shoot that horrific thing? Because I'm sick of having it shooting lasers in my face. There's a burger. I'm not going to grab it because I'm all full. So hmm. Let's just try and climb this ladder. And the ladders! That's another thing I don't like. They're also completely helpless to climb down sometimes. All of a sudden you might decide, nope, I'm not going to climb down. Because, yeah, ladders. The worst kind of enemies in old 8-bit and 16-bit games. I mean, come to think of it, the ladders in Half-Life were, without doubt, the worst enemy in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, we can stab these electrical things, but... Oh, God, I forgot... <laughs> I hate these kind of traps, I really do. Have I mentioned that? I might have. So we can shoot this annoying laser turret. Reminds me of the uh, the turrets in uh, Obliterator. Uh, a game that I don't particularly like either. I mean, it's it's complete garbage. This is miles and miles better. But yeah, the, the turrets reminds me of... Um, Oh, really? Oh, that's so cheap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I can climb down. Yes, I can. Let's go grab this thing, whatever it is. Come on, get up there, you silly man. It's just points. Who cares? <laughs> There's supposed to be a fair amount of secrets in here as well, I think. And I keep pushing down because I want to look down, but of course I can't do that because that would be too much to ask. <laughs> can I kill something off screen? I think I can. Yes, I can. That's that's at least a good thing. What is this? And again, I keep pushing down. <laughs> I keep crouching, hoping I can see what's below me. That's not going to happen. Hello, tick bastard. But yeah, a good little thing is that you can actually kill enemies that are off-screen. Unfortunately, the enemies can also, I think, hit you when you are off-screen. And of course, my laser weapon just went dry, or my projectile weapon. But I think I can jump over there. No, I can't. Well, never mind. Uh, I'm just going to let that thing live. Ah, nothing down here. That's good. Except that thing. I don't know what that is. Give it to me. Oh, yes, it's energy. Good times. At least I get some sort of auditory warning here that something's going on below me. But I have no idea without going down there. This just reminds me of Rick Dangerous. It's just being cheap. <laughs> and I know a lot of people love Rick Dangerous. I'm not one of them, as I'm pretty sure I told you. Um, in Switchblade 1. And I do believe it's Simon Phipps also designed. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I hate that! <laughs> oh, yes, indeed I do. And this thing. Uh, get, get away from me. Oh, you bastard. You bastard! <laughs> Jump. Preemptively. Get up the ladder, you silly man! <laughs> Oh, and then he grabs onto the ladder. I... <laughs> yes. Ah, please don't do that. Just destroy this brainy satellite thing. Power up, eh? And give it here. Still not sure what that does. Ah, there's just some points and some stuff. I don't care. Well, I kind of do. But I'd rather have some health. Now, I think there's a thing here, isn't there? Um, trap? Oh, for God's sake. 
Oh, I, I think you can see them. Kinda, you can kind of see a couple of pixels down there. It, it's not very clear, is it? But yeah, I think you can get some advanced wa warning there. So yeah, that's that's good to know. But I still think it's cheap. Oh god, you. Oh, piss off you. What the? I didn't know you could do that. That would have been nice if you could have told me that you can fire those projectiles that high up, you absolute and utter twat. And what the hell are you anyway? Yeah, let's destroy this thing. Ah, go grab this. Die! <laughs> yeah, my knife is certainly the best weapon, and I think I mentioned that the manual actually mentions that as well, so you can actually... Oh, what the... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even realize. It's a lift! But I haven't finished exploring everything down here, so that's not so good. And apparently it's a steam propel lift. Or maybe that's in, you know, proper... Oh, shit. I mean, look at the garbage nature of this weapon, the, the projectile one. It's absolutely trash. <laughs> ah, please. It's... Oh, no, don't, don't lob grenades in my face, please. Oh, you... Mm. Get off the flipping thing! <laughs> and there's a sausage up there. Ah. See if I can grab the sausage. Uh, I don't need it really, do I? No, I don't. But can I. If I go up here and. Oh, God! Am I gonna die? No, I didn't. Let's just go down here because yeah, I think there's stuff we can explore down here. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, could could I just please be allowed to, you know, have a look around here without being murdered or having my kneecaps bitten off by some sort of electronic tick? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, God, I hate that. Mm. <laughs> Is that food? Of course not. It's just points. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's for sure one of those games that you really need to play and suffer the damage to be able to avoid it. And I think there's a trap somewhere around here, right? I don't know. Let's go and see if we can find some sausages. And I can't fire while I'm on the ladder. What? Oh, because why would I? Oh, there's a sausage. Thank God for that. Uh, only thing is I've got an angry laser that wants to murder me, so let's go down here and kill some ticks. Because that's always fun and makes some money. Now, can I destroy the camera? No. Is there any way of progressing here? Let's just go up here and... Oh, you bastard! So how am I going to get out of here? Can I just jump? No, of course I jump straight down onto their bloody spikes. Yeah, Switchblade 1 is... Tons and tons better, in my opinion. And then he stops climbing. Why? Oh, this is infuriating. Get up, you stupid. Oh, God, I really don't like this. It's just so flipping cheap. Ah, oh, God, I've got one more life, right? So that is good. Get up there. Get up. Get up on the stupid <laughs> lift. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a bit annoyed at this game. Oh god, the slowest lift in the entire world. My god. But finally I'm up here. Stab the robot to death. And there's a laser. Can I jump up here maybe? Let's see if I can maybe just jump up like that. And grab... Ooh, yeah, that's good. I get a power up. That is good. Can we fire and destroy that thing? Yes, we can. Good times. Let's just check the floor. Can't see any traps. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be introducing new traps that I can't see, so... Mm. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. C. Oh! Ah, that is... How am I supposed to know that? Ah, God, I hate that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, these things I should be able to deal with, right? 
die, you horrific tick. Ooh, that was a nice pile of money, that. All money in the future comes in orb shape. Orb, orb shaped. Oh, God, how am I supposed to know that? That is... Couldn't I just have been allowed to glimpse his little feet? But no, that would make things too simple. Okay, any secrets? No. Oh, you again. Are you going to fire your bloody grenades? Of course you are. You cheap little shit. I'm going to go down and stab you. And I would love to look down. Again, I'm pressing down to see what's going on down here. And oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, God, this is... Come on. <laughs> Oh, yes. This is not cheap at all. No, not not one bit. Have I mentioned that? Am I getting a bit complainy? <laughs> Maybe a bit. We got a burger up there, which would be great. Let's see if I can jump up and grab said burgers and stuff because I need it. You can grab some more stuff over there but do I want to is the question don't think so I'm just gonna it's gonna run away climb down the ladder you stupid man oh god I mean look at this look at this fucking mess <laughs> I would love to have a grenade I could just drop down Ah, yeah, I'm really not a fan of Switchblade 2, I have to admit. I really, really genuinely find this cheesy as all hell. Oh, oh my god, you... <laughs> Can I at least be allowed to spend my hard-earned monies here? I want to spend my 31 bucks on something. Oh, look at this mess. But at least I get to see them in, in advance, right? Jump! Oh, and I can't jump because of the roof! <laughs> this is not funny. Not one bit. Go down, stupid man! <laughs> another laser? Uh, another orbiting laser? Yes, of course, there's two of them. It's a burger in a box. I don't give a crap about either of them right now, so I'm just going to climb back up here. Why does he stop on every floor? It is super annoying, especially when there's an orbital laser firing at my face. Oh, God! Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is terrific. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Get up. And then he doesn't... <sighs> yeah, you know what? I'm sorry to have to say this, but I think this is pretty much garbage. <laughs> it's just... I mean, it looks great. Don't get me wrong. It's... And I can't spell garbage. Here we are. Garbage. I hate the cheesiness of this game. Switchblade 1 was just vastly superior in that regard. If they just had removed that... This would have been so much more enjoyable, at least for me. But let's see how some other people found the game, shall we? Ace the User had this tiny, tiny, weeny review of the game where they gave it an overall rating of 90%, and they write, The graphics are at worst excellent, and at best absolutely stunning. With so much playability, it's bound to be big. Get it now. And there's no mentioning of the rather cheap and somewhat frustrating gameplay, but hey, that's Ace the User for you. And I think the reason why the review is so incredibly brief is that there were quite a few other big games being released around this time. I think Midwinter 2 and Cybercon 3 was released at this time, and possibly some other ones as well. But let's see what SD former's Ed Ricketts had to say about the game. He gave it an overall of 81% and he writes, Surprisingly, Switchblade 2 is a very enjoyable game. This is surprising because A, Switchblade 1 was dull as ditch water that's a bit duller than usual, B, platform games aren't exactly at the cutting edge of gameplay. C, there's really nothing here you haven't seen many times before in a hundred other platform games. And they also mentioned that the game is not too difficult, which, I, I mean, suppose it's true, because once you kind of learn where enemies and traps are hiding, it's going to be a lot less difficult going through the game. But personally, I just hate those cheap moments. I've always hated them. So, yeah, I'd rather 
have that they didn't do that and maybe just make the game a little bit more difficult. <laughs> I'm okay with that, but not the super cheap moments that are just annoying and just turns me off playing the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief glimpse at Switchblade 2 and uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers.